Hello friends, welcome back and if you are new to our channel, thank you for stopping by. It's a short plant video and I am going to start off with my Chinese dunk cap. This plant makes me happy. See this is a new pot where I had placed an offset and this is how it is doing right now. What a beautiful plant. I think I have understood the nature of this plant finally. Touchwood. This particular succulent I have not shown you earlier. Actually, I got a small one with another plant that I had purchased from the nursery. And this is how she is doing. Look at her. It is growing from all sides. A beautiful one. See, I am loving it. Now this is also the Chinese dark scap. The one in the middle, that rosette, I had placed it there. And this is how she is doing. Wonderful plant. Yay! Beautiful one. Now this is my fuchsia, which was attacked by numerous ants, red ants. And I sprayed it. Uh... And after two spraying for two days, it is finally doing well. Thank God. Because this is the only fuchsia that I have in my collection. That too was given to me by my sister-in-law. This is my Edgeveria trumpet. I had one, but that I lost last year during the monsoons. And again, I have brought a new one look at the beauty of this particular plant some are funnel shaped I think when it's young it is funnel shaped that gradually opens I think when it when the leaves mature anyway it's a beautiful plant now this is my painted lady look at her how vibrant she looks this side it is all pink because it was exposed to the direct sunlight and this part is greenish because it was not getting the direct sunlight what an interesting plant and this plant was dropping some cuttings which i have put in some other pots which are also growing happily now this is a beautiful succulent Look at her, it is turning ruby red. This is Ejeveria uh, Palvinate Ruby, yes. The name itself suggests how pretty it's going to turn and that's the floral stalk. And this one in the pot is green and one in the plastic pot has turned ruby red because it was exposed to the full sun. What a beautiful plant, gifted to me by my sister-in-law again. Move on to our Edgeveria Chroma. Oh my god, just look at her. How pretty she looks. Look at the color. What a pretty one. I had always wanted to have this particular succulent. It was there in my bucket list. And there I have her. Look at the color beautiful have a look now this is my paku python hookery which has just been watered and it is also doing well i like chubby succulents look at her the weeds keep attacking anyway weeds also help us to understand whether the plant, whether the soil has dried up or not. I just removed some oxalis from there. Look at her. I had to show you this. This is my third pot of aster, which was yet to bloom. And this is how she looks, a beautiful pink. I was thinking it to be purple, some shade of purple. But it is pink. These are the 
ones that have bloomed earlier two sets two pots and this particular that's the oldest i think the mature flower though so this is the oldest one it has matured and the third pot is this pink one look at her how pretty she is looking in the sun just falling in love with it next year too i'm going to plant asters i'm try i will try to keep the flower dried flower so that i can uh, get seedlings next year although i don't know what uh, is the process to grow asters most probably the mature flowers are to be sun dried and kept i'm going to try that so thank you my friends for staying till the end if you have liked the video to give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family members and if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing and stay tuned for interesting videos so till we meet again it is bye bye for today